right, let's go to Noah in San Francisco. What's up, Noah? How we doing? Hey, Don, uh, Dr. John, doing good. How are you doing? Good, brother. What's going on, dude? Yeah, so I'm calling you today because I would like to get your advice on a situation that we're dealing with. Cool, bring it on. Uh, so my beautiful stepdaughter has turned five, and she's gotten to the age where she has realized that me and her biological dad have never met. Okay. And being a curious five-year-old, she asked him about it, and he told her that we have never met and that he won't ever meet me. And well, Did he tell her why or just that he wouldn't? Just that. Okay. And now she's asking us about it, and we're not really sure how much information she can handle. What should we tell her? You tell her the truth. Don't ever, 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 ever lie to your kids. So gotcha. do you do you want to see this guy? For her sake, I do. You know, when she gets older and starts having, you know, school events, sporting mm-hmm. events, I would love for all of us to be able to sit together and enjoy these things, you know, for her sake. Have you ever reached out to this dude? We've, well, through my wife, we've tried. I've never personally tried. I don't have his phone number, but uh, we've tried and he just refuses to. So I want you to reach out to him. Somebody's got to go first. Okay. I want you to be the dad in the situation. I want you to be the, the man in the situation. I, want, I don't want to gender it, but I want you to be the adult in the situation. And I want you to reach out to him because y'all are sharing parenting of a five-year-old little girl. And that's bigger than you being scared of him, him being a, acting like a, what a bratty little kid. Pisses me off, quite honestly. Like, it makes me mad because there's a little girl that's suffering at this deal. And I'm not mad at you, dude. But um, I want you to... to lean in hard on this deal and say, Hey, we need to go have coffee because we're co-raising a daughter together. And we need, I want to go have coffee with you, man. I want to go grab a drink. And I know it's going to be awkward. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be whatever, but for the sake of this little girl, I'd love to meet with you. And I'd love to map out a plan so that you and I are on the same page. And I want you to reach out and do that. And if your wife says, no, you can't talk to him. There's that's a problem. Okay. Cause y'all are all in this together. And when you married her, you didn't marry him, but he's in your life. That's what you signed up for. And whenever they got divorced, then he signed up for there being other people. And at some point, he's going to get remarried. And whoever he gets remarried to is going to be a part of this picture, too. So adults have to be adults, and y'all got to get in this thing together. If he won't, if he says, you know, screw you, dude, I'm not meeting with you, you know, whatever, 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 um, then when your daughter says, well, why won't you ever, why can't you and daddy, whatever, um, say we are working on it. And sometimes adults have hard feelings too, but we're working on it. And let that be that. And I want you to circle back every six months. Hey, brother, just checking in, man. Any chance we could get together? Talk about, um, talk about whatever your daughter's name is. Okay. And here's, what you're, here's what's going to happen. In 10 years, when she's 16 or 17, one of two things will happen. You and that dude will have made peace with the world. You'll have decided to put her ahead of y'all's ego. Your wife will be in it too. And the fact that she made a child with another dude, she's going to have to just make peace with that guy's going to be part of her life forever. Um, y'all will either, A, all three of you be sitting by each other at a band concert or in the same room or whatever, or at a track meet or whatever is going on. Or you're going to be able to sit down with your 15-year-old daughter and say, hey, I'm just going to show you this. Here is a track record of the last 10 years of me reaching out. Okay. I want you to know that I love you. Your mom loves you. Your dad loves you. Your other dad loves you. Um, just, we've, we've just struggled making relationships with each other. It has no reflection on you whatsoever. It's not about you. It's about adults not being able to get our crap together. And I'm sorry. Okay. But that's not for years. Is that cool? Yeah, I, I like the idea of, you know, setting a track record, something to show her, you know, because that's what I'm worried about. You know, when she gets later in life, I don't want her to have any type of feeling or resentment, you know, towards that situation. It's, it's going to be less that. It's going to be more. You've got adults speaking into a 15, 16, 17 year old, almost adult, telling her life things and here's what she should be doing and here's what a wisdom and adulthood looks like. And she's going to have cognitive dissonance because she's going to be witnessing the adults in her life acting like little babies. Does that make sense? 
Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be able to provide her with a picture of, hey, I've tried to control what I could control and I couldn't bring us all together. I tried. Your mom's going to do the same thing. I tried. But all three of us love you crazy. And so all three of us were at the theater performance. We just sat in different places. And the, the, my hope is you keep chipping away at this dude and he's going to say, you're right. Did their marriage end badly? Did she cheat on him or something? Like, what's his deal? Um, it ended with some physical violence. It, it ended very poorly. But their relationship has gotten a lot better over the last four years. Just unfortunately, ours has yet to start. So this know? dude just sucks. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So he may be, like, if, 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 he's, if he's an abusive, egomaniac, idiot loser... He may not be able to have the courage or the um, maturity to put his daughter's needs first. If he's the kind of guy that will go hit a woman, he may just be such a spineless coward that um, he can't put his ego aside. Maybe he lost everything, including his daughter, including his wife, and he changed. And maybe he's tried to, maybe he's growing up, right? That's what I'm hoping for. And you, Putting an olive branch out there um, w might be an, a measure of grace to a guy who's trying to change his life because he blew it. He lost everything, right? And um, that may be really in incredible. But that, that starts with you, okay? I wouldn't put that on your wife. She's been abused by this dude. She's been burned by this dude. This is the dad of a stepdaughter, okay? Are mm -hmm. you scared to do that? No, not at all. You know, okay. I, I would like to have a relationship with him, you know, because he's the— the father of my stepchild, you know, yeah, I, I love her so much. And I, you know, like I said, in the future, I want to be able to have something stable for her, you know, when she gets older. That's right. So, um, do it cause it's right. And it's going to be so hard. Um, the excuse, well, I don't have his number, man. That's not an excuse that that should end in about eight seconds. Um, yeah. send him an email that he can write it to, like send him an email and, um, y'all get onto this right away and at least make him send him an email and then a text. Hey, brother, I sent you an email. This is so-and-so. This is Noah. Um, I sent you an email. Um, read it and give me a shout. And if he writes you back, I blocked you, whatever, then y'all deal with that then. But I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm so optimistic that people get, you know, just need some connection. But I know that's not always accurate and right. But um, do the right thing, man. Do the right thing on behalf of her, on behalf of your marriage, on behalf of everybody. Okay? Do it on behalf of this guy. Even though if he doesn't deserve it, reach out for him, man.